Today we're going to see how to make a floor plan. So I'm under the floors tab in the restaurant manager. And you see here that I already have a few floors created already, a dining room, a bar and a patio floor. So I'm going to go and create a new floor. So I'm just going to click on the plus and I can give it a name. So I'm just going to call mine the cafe. Um, most people you're going to want to put this just in landscape. You can put the iPad in portrait if you want and you have some default sizes as well. Um, so for example, if you put it as a times two iPad or times three iPad, you'll see that when you create your floor, you'll actually have double or triple the space on the floor plan. And you can actually slide between the different sections of the floor plan just by using your finger. Uh, but for the purpose of this one, I'm going to show you just a single floor. And first you can just choose your floor background. So you see I have a lot of different uh, options to choose from uh, preloaded in the account. So I'm going to choose this nice wooden one. However, you always have the option to upload your own background images as well. Just click on the little plus symbol to upload. Next, we want to click on tables. And you can see there are also some various uh, table designs that are there. So you can just click any table color that you like. Enter in a name. We have various types of table that you can choose from. So a restaurant type table is designed just for a dine-in restaurant experience. Takeaway is designed for taking takeout orders, delivery for delivery orders. A bar type table is ideal for a quick bar or a quick service, counter service type of restaurant. And Takeaway Simple allows you to take takeout orders without having to ask for information such as their name and phone number. You'll see here you can also make the table round if you like and play with the width and the height of the table. And here we have a bunch of different chair images you can choose from as well. So I'm going to choose this one. And you can also update the default amount of chairs on the table. There we go, I have my table. Uh, actually, I don't think the white really looks good with that background, so I'm just going to change it to the brown one. If you have a lot of different kinds of the same table, you can simply copy it like that. And then all you would need to do is go in and update the name of that table. To make a bar, just choose any table color that you like. You can call it bar or anything you like really. And I'm just going to select the bar table type as well. And for my bar, I'm going to make it quite wide and not too high. So it'll be long and skinny. And the trick for bars is to make it zero chairs. So you don't have chairs going all around the bar like at a large table. Then for our bar stools, again, I'm just going to select any kind of table color that I like. And I'm going to just name my bar stool. For the type, I'm actually going to leave it as a restaurant type table because I want the table to return to the floor plan uh, just like a regular restaurant table would. Then I'm going to make it round, fairly small, and again, zero chairs. So what that does is gives me a nice little bar stool that I can just put next to my bar. And then again, I just simply need to copy as many as I like and go and update the name. So if you're planning on accepting takeaway and delivery orders, you need to have at least one takeaway table and one delivery table configured somewhere in your Lightspeed Restaurant account. So some people like to put it on a completely separate floor plan. So have a separate floor plan for their takeout and delivery tables. Otherwise, you can just keep them on your main floor plan. So I'm just going to call this one takeaway. And you just need to make sure you select the takeaway type. It's going to make it slightly bigger. And you don't need to put chairs on a takeaway table. There we go. And I can just copy it to make my delivery table. So then I'm just going to rename it and change the table type from takeaway to delivery. And takeaway and delivery tables are a bit different to regular tables. They allow you to have as many open takeaway and delivery orders as you like at the one time without having to first finalize the order before creating a new one. So now I've finished my floor plan. I'm going to show you how to add some decorations. So I'm just going to click here to decoration and your account won't come with any preloaded decorations. So you'll need to upload your own. So you can just click on the plus symbol to go and upload your own decorations. Just make sure you resize them before you upload them. 
And now, for example, here I have a little plant. So I'm just going to go and add that in like there and add that in there. And that's how you can make a flow plan.